Hey guys, Gabby Dabrowski here. Today I'm going to be analyzing our quarterfinal doubles match from Doha in February. Uh, Aliona Ostapenko and I played Elise Mertens and Arena Sabalenka. It's love one, but 40-30 for us and Aliona is returning. So she hits a really solid return down the line. Sabalenka is on defense and my job then is to uh, take advantage of that and poach. So I intercepted the volley and I hit an angle winner cross court. Aliona and Elise have a really good rally down the line, good quality shots, good depth. Uh, there wasn't really a great opportunity for me to try to, to cross and poach. Um, but at one point, Arena tries to do that, and then that actually opens up the court, cross court, for Elise to hit a winner past me. It was, I don't know if she, if she knew that I had, you know, moved into the middle um, to try to intercept the next ball, and if she saw me or if she just committed to the spot and hit it. But it was a really great shot. This point is pretty interesting because. Uh, even though I had a short ball to put away, I didn't put it away. Uh, and um, what's important though is to not get discouraged if the point, you know, continues and neutralizes, but is to look for the next opportunity. So I think I did that pretty well. So you'll notice in this point that I mix it up with a good lob, but what I do well is I follow it into the net. And what this allows for, especially because I closed in uh, quite quickly, uh, I was able to hit a good quality volley mm -hmm. that was low and short and Mertens had to run up to it and I put her in a bit of an uncomfortable position. She was on defense and Eliana hit a winner from that shot. So we've lost the first set 6-4 and it sucks because we had a couple chances to get ahead and, and we didn't take them but I think if we limit a couple of errors, you know, clean, clean the game up a bit, um, I remember thinking at this point in the match that we, we still have a chance, you know, we didn't play our best tennis and it was still pretty close at 6-4, so if we can just be a little bit more consistent and um, we were kind of just playing and reacting, which works well on a good day, but when your opponents are playing well, you, you need to be able to work together a little bit better as a team and, and uh, you know, find solutions to, to be able to maximize your strengths and get ahead in the match. I think in the first game of the second set, we, we made a statement, um, you know, the first point, great doubles point, good reactions by me uh, to keep the point going even when under attack. Uh, she <laughs> um, yeah, I think you got it. <laughs> I love this play. Um, I think it's a really good doubles play, especially if you're comfortable at the net. Um, I hit a decent return, the ball comes back at my feet, and I, I, I just, I love that play. <laughs> it's 5-1, 30-15. This was a really good doubles play, I think, by everyone. Um, we had good touch, we kept the ball low, and then Aliona finishes it with um, another beautiful touch lob. And we've won the set. So now we're even and we're heading into the super tiebreaker. I remember thinking that I was quite pleased with the way that our tennis had turned around and I think the momentum is with us right now. The first point of the super tiebreaker is a really great doubles point. We all played our parts really well on the last shot. Uh, I would say that I stayed really calm even though the ball had clipped the tape. You know, an overhead coming at you is a scary thing, but sometimes if you just maintain your composure, uh, you can still get away with uh, using your hand skills. So, yeah, that was, that was a good start to the super tiebreaker. So at 3-1, we're down and Martins is serving. In this point, you know, I thought we worked really well together as a team. There was a ball that I couldn't reach. Eliana had me covered. And really, that's, that's what doubles is. You know, sometimes um, your intentions are correct, but you misjudge uh, the height of the ball. And that's where your partner's, you know, Hopefully they're behind you to, to cover your butt. <laughs> Match point. I'm serving to Sabalenka. I hit a great serve out wide and Aliona finishes the shot through the middle. Couldn't ask for a better finish really. Uh, I was very pleased with the way we turned around this match. You know, 
There were a couple points in the first set where I was a little bit tentative and unsure of myself and uh, so personally I felt that I made an improvement and it got better as the match went on and that's all you can really ask of yourself, you know, even if you're not playing your best tennis, you, you find a way to win and obviously having a great partner alongside you that complements your game is the best uh, situation possible, so yeah. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this match with me and uh, my little analysis. <laughs> hope to see you guys soon.